NASA has revealed the first findings from the sample collected and brought back to Earth from asteroid Bennu by its OSIRIS-REx mission. Initial results show that the material gathered from the 4.5 billion year old space rock is rich in carbon and water, lending support to the notion that life on Earth was kick-started early on by substances arriving from space. The discovery follows a seven-year round trip to the asteroid by OSIRIS-REx. In October 2020, during its rendezvous phase, the probe fired a jet of nitrogen gas at Bennu's surface to dislodge material from the surface. Some of this it collected in a lidded container before heading homeward, flying past the Earth last month and dropping off its cargo in the Utah desert. OSIRIS-REx isn't the first mission to rendezvous with an asteroid and bring back samples. That honor goes to two Japanese spacecraft, Hayabusa and Hayabusa 2, which returned dust from the asteroids Itukawa and Ryugu in 2010 and 2020 respectively, but the amount they collected is dwarfed by the estimated 250 grams, or about half a pound, that OSIRIS-REx brought back. Named after an Egyptian deity in the form of a bird, Bennu measures 490 meters in diameter and is about 4.5 billion years old, so that it formed around the same time as Earth. Almost 5% of the weight of the sample we now have from Bennu consists of carbon, in both organic and mineral form. There's also water locked inside the crystal structure of clay minerals. The findings support the widespread belief among scientists that much of the water in Earth's oceans, lakes and rivers originally came from asteroids that collided with our planet four to four and a half billion years ago. What's more, the carbon delivered by these asteroids, it's thought, helped to seed life. OSIRIS-REx had little trouble dislodging material from the surface of Bennu, in fact, the particles in the upper layer of the asteroid are so loosely packed that if someone were to step onto the surface, they'd probably sink in like a child in a ball crawl. Bennu's orbit intersects that of Earth, which made the asteroid much easier to reach than if it moved around the Sun in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. But it also means that Bennu could at some point in the future pose a threat to us there's no chance of it hitting our planet over the next century or more. Between the mid-2100s and 2300, though, the odds rise to about 1 in 1750. So, knowing more about the asteroid's composition will help if ever we need to take steps to divert its path. Preliminary analysis so far has involved CT scans and scanning electron microscopy, not of the main sample, but of particles that lay on top of the sample collecting mechanism. A flap meant to seal the sample got wedged open, allowing some of the material to flow out into another compartment. The malfunction ended up being a blessing in disguise because scientists now have more of Bennu than they expected. Analysis will continue in a clean room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, and in other labs around the world once NASA has distributed samples to international scientists for further study. But the space agency will preserve at least 70% of the material brought back by OSIRIS-REx untouched, a practice that began with the moon rocks returned by Apollo astronauts. This pristine material from Bennu will then be available for researchers to examine in the future using new techniques and instrumentation and with new questions to be answered.